This spring in Christian County, farmers are harvesting the future of energy in Illinois. Teamed up with U of I researchers at Extension on the Dudley Smith Farm, they're experimenting with switchgrass and miscanthus, energy grasses that may one day generate livelihoods for Illinois farmers and heat and energy for Illinois homes. Today we'll visit the Christian County Extension Office, where an experimental heating system is providing inspiration for a homegrown energy economy. One where farmers supply grass pellets to heat their neighbors' homes or burn alongside coal in local power plants. As Christian County Extensioner Gary Letterly will tell us, homegrown energy is an idea ready to take off. If you just look at the economics of it, it probably makes sense. If you're ready to change your home heating system, then you could look at a furnace like this and it would make sense to install it. You do have to dump the ash, uh, you do have to uh, put fuel into the hopper and uh, you have to store that fuel so five to ten minutes a day uh, probably would be about all you'd need. The furnace consists of a hopper for three to four days of fuel and an auger that feeds that fuel into the fire chamber. That auger is controlled automatically by the thermostat so the furnace can regulate itself just like a natural gas or propane system. Letterly and the Dudley Smith Farm are also investigating the energy grasses that will fuel these new furnaces. Candidates include miscanthus, switchgrass, and native prairie plantings. Right now, miscanthus promises the best yield, while native prairie grasses could provide habitat for wildlife before they are harvested. We want to be able to grow this locally, manufacture it locally, use it locally, and uh, take all the advantages, keep all the advantages we can locally.